Hello everyone, let's fix a, an issue with our looting system. So a lot of po people pointed out that if you have an enemy and you kill it and it doesn't have any potential loot associated and you try to loot the body, nothing happens. But after you do that, I ain't worried about you right now. Even if you try to pick something else, it won't let you. Pretty simple fix, let's jump into it and I'll show you what we do. So inside the base enemy class, uh, the, well, first off, the reason it's not doing anything is because over here in the event interact thing, we've only set it up what to do if there's actual loot. So it runs through each one, but it's not doing anything off that. So this won't fire if there's nothing here. It'll just be like, uh, nope. No, not doing that. Don't know what you're telling me to do. But right up here, right where we're killing the enemy off, so we're doing our drop loot check, we're stopping the enemy's move it, stopping the montage, and doing all this stuff to tell it that it's dead. Let's go to the very end. So right after we set these collision responses, let's get our actual loot array. We want to see the length of it and see if it's greater than zero. So greater than zero. We'll add a branch right at the very end. And if it is greater than zero, then we don't need to do anything. But if it's not greater than zero, then we want to just go ahead and call our looted function. The one that we set up that will, you know, destroy any components on it if it's valid. And then gives it the delay before the body disappears. And then this will also remove it from our... Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. This will also remove it from our interactables in range array. Which, mm, it won't do that for five seconds though. So what we can do, we can just take this and that. So I'm getting the player reference, the interactables in range, seeing if it contains a reference, all that jazz. Control C, copy it, move it up here right where we're doing everything on the false. So we'll say it's looted. And then we'll just go ahead and paste that here so that we can have it removed. Now let's compile and jump in. Now my wolves, let me show you. Wolfy, wolfy. They don't have any potential loot set up. Nothing. No actual loot. I even turned off the skinnable so that nothing gets added. They die, disappear, this is where any of your death effects will go. Let me try to pick up the body while it's still there. Oh, and if you're having issues with these uh, these knights, and you try to run over to the body and pick... No, oh, I got close enough that time. It, their capsule collision is over here, and this is where that, that thing is attached. But you can see I could pick up stuff. So even though I tried to loot the wolves and they had nothing, now it's all working. But yeah, if you can't pick up the body from here, I'll show you how to fix that too. But it's because these are... Where is it? There it is. Well, maybe these are closer to the body than I thought. I was having a little bit of trouble with it a bit ago. But it's because uh, when it spawn When the... When the knight does its death animation... Let me just show you real quick. Death. So the body falls outside of its capsule collision, but this is where the, the interact radius is bound to uh, because we didn't set up any parent sockets. If your characters all have the same kind of skeleton, then you can kind of go through and pick where you want each one bound to. Like, for instance, if I put it on the spine. Then now when I try to interact with the body, all I got to do is stand right there on top of it and it would be a little bit better. So... Because that way it sticks right with the body. Now that works if you have all your enemies with the same skeletons. Um, I'm not sure if you can go through and change its parenting. I don't think you can change it on children. But 
there are certain bones that everybody should have. So let me let's take a look at this real quick. Death. No, I guess it doesn't have. But it's not ideal. But one thing you could do is go through each enemy you have and play their death animation like this, and then line it up, line that interaction up event based on where it is inside the blueprint. So that's not really the ideal way of doing it, but but it'll get the job done. All right, so that's it for the loot fix, and I have some other things coming, some exciting things I think. I don't know, I'm biased to it, but uh, we are going to be continuing this series as well. Uh, we might look at updating it to the new version of Unreal Engine 5. Just because the newer version has a lot of stuff that I'm, I'm really excited to start getting into. Uh, but we will be continuing this one. Because I know a lot of y'all are still into this one pretty good. So, And we'll be looking at some more cool stuff coming soon. So I will see y'all later on. Bye.